Hey everybody, I am Surbhi and you are watching Key Differences. In this video, we are going to talk about the difference between demand and supply. So friends, what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Demand Demand for a commodity refers to the customer's desire for a particular product which he or she is ready to buy at different prices during a given period of time. So here we came across two aspects of demand. One is ability of the person which represents the purchasing power of the customer. Along with that he should have that willingness to spend his money to buy that commodity. So this will constitute demand. Come let us understand this with an example. Suppose a mere desire to buy a laptop without adequate money is just a wishful thinking and not demand. Look at another way. Suppose you have got enough money but you are not willing to spend. Then also the demand won't be there. In a nutshell we can say that demand is when there is a desire to buy a commodity along with sufficient means to purchase and willingness to use those means to buy that commodity. Further with the help of given schedule we will try to understand the relationship of demand with price. As you can see the table shows the various quantities of commodity to be purchased at different prices. Here you can see a trend that as the price of the commodity increases the quantity demanded of that commodity decreases. So now we are going to plot this on a graph. When the price of the commodity is 100 rupees the quantity demanded is 1000 units. When the price is 150 rupees the quantity demanded is 800 units. When the price is 200 rupees the quantity demanded is 600 units and so forth. So there exists an inverse relationship between the price and the quantity demanded. And that is why the demand curve slopes downward from the left to the right. Hence with every increase in the price of the commodity there will be a decrease in its quantity demanded. This is also called as law of demand. Coming to supply. Supply implies various quantities of a product which the producer is willing to produce and offer for sale at various possible prices to the customers during a given period of time. So just like demand supply is also based on two aspects ability and willingness. Here the ability of the firm to produce goods depends on the resources available to the firm and the technology they use to produce that commodity. On the other hand how much of a commodity the firm is willing to produce and offer for sale relies upon the profits they can expect to earn by producing and selling that commodity. So here you must remember that supply is the desired quantity that is how much producers are willing to sell and not how much they can actually sell. Supply is always expressed with reference to price that is with change in the price of the commodity the supply also changes. Supply is a flow variable. That is it is the amount of product which a supplier is willing to offer for sale during a particular period of time. That is a day, a month, a week or an year. Further with the help of the given supply schedule we will understand the relationship between quantity supplied and its price. This table displays different quantities of a commodity offered for sale at different possible prices of that commodity at a point of time. You can see the trend that as the price of the commodity increases its quantity supplied also increases or we can say that quantity supplied of a commodity changes in response to the change in its price. Now we are going to plot this on a graph when the price of the commodity is 100 rupees the quantity supplied is 200 units and when the price is 150 rupees the quantity supplied is 400 units. Next when the price is 200 rupees the quantity supplied is 600 units and so on. So what we have understood is that when the price is high the producer is willing to sell more because higher prices encourages the suppliers to produce more and get more profit. Thus there is a positive or direct relationship between the price of the commodity and quantity supplied of that commodity. That is why the supply curve slopes upward from the left to the right. This is called as law of supply. Moving on to the difference between demand and supply meaning Demand refers to the desire of the buyer and his her ability to pay for a particular commodity at a specific price in a given period of time. Whereas supply refers to the quantity of a commodity which the producers are able and willing to sell to its customers at a certain price during a given period of time. Next while demand curve is downward sloping from the left to the right 
indicating a negative slope supply curve is upward sloping from the left to the right indicating a positive slope when it comes to the relationship with price demand has an inverse relationship with the price which means that as the price of the commodity increases the quantity demanded decreases and vice versa in contrast supply has a direct relationship with price that is with every increase in the price of the commodity quantity supplied increases and vice versa next while demand represents the customer side supply represents the firm that is producer side effect of variations when the demand of the commodity increases but the supply remains constant it leads to shortage but when the demand decreases and supply is constant it leads to surplus whereas when the supply increases but the demand is constant it leads to surplus and when there is a decrease in supply and the demand is constant it results in shortage next determinants of demand other than price are taste and preferences of consumers number of customers price of related goods consumers income consumers expectation about prices of the good etc whereas factors influencing supply other than price are price of resources and other inputs number of producers price of other goods taxes and subsidies technology used size of the industry etc so friends this brings me to the end of this lesson i hope the concepts has been clear now however if you want to study the topic further in detail you can visit our official website that is keyreferences.com here you can find a detailed comparison of demand and supply along with their definitions graph and determinants links are also provided in the description box below I hope you liked this video and if you did please do give it a thumbs up and share it with other people also if you are new to this channel and want to get more such useful videos consider subscribing this channel and also hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button so that you are notified every time a new video is uploaded on this channel and if you have any queries or feedback for me feel free to leave in the comment section below until next time this is me surbi signing off